<laughs> so now, well, you have to remember, now the dog is completely shaved. He's completely bald, right? <laughs> so now, so I told him, I said, well, if that's the way you feel, well, I guess I'll just be heading out then. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I say something wrong? I guess I'll just be heading out then? Be heading out? Beheading Michael? Yeah, well, that's what I said. What? He doesn't know? I don't know what. About a year ago, Jane's son was... Jane, is it alright if I... About a year ago, Jane's son was involved in a beheading accident where he was beheaded. Oh my god, I... I'm so sorry, that's terrible. It's all right, Michael, there's no way you could have known. <sighs> Just... Well, let's not spoil the evening. Let's, um... Why don't you tell us about work, Michael? Uh... Well, unfortunately, uh, there's not much to tell. I was doing uh, programming for an uh, internet startup. Uh, that kind of crashed and burned last year, so uh, I haven't really... Michael, Jane's son was killed when his plane crashed. Crashed and burned. Crashed and burned last year. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh my God, that's, oh wait, um, I'm sorry, Jane, but I thought your uh, son was beheaded. <laughs> he was beheaded in the plane crash. Oh, Jesus. Uh, well, I apologize. Um, guess I really put my foot in my mouth this time, huh? <laughs> hey, look, I mean, I, I didn't know about the plane crash. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not that, Michael. Put your foot in your mouth! Well, yeah, isn't that the phrase? Michael, when the plane carrying Jane's son went down, it began losing altitude. Cabin pressure increased, which caused his pumpable basketball sneakers to tighten uncomfortably. He lifted his leg to adjust the shoe to let the air out, just as the plane crashed. The force of the impact propelled his foot into his head. Into his mouth. Into his mouth, severing his skull from his spine, beheading him. Uh, that's terrible. I, uh... Oh, come on. I mean, how could you even know that? The FAA prepared a detailed report. It's all right here, man. Foot. In. Mouth. Let me see that. Have you no respect for the dead? Well, I didn't even say anything that time. See that? See that, Michael? The plane crashed into the sea? The sea that is next to Greece? You mean the Mediterranean Sea? But Jane, where are you going? What now? Mediterranean Sea, why would you say that? That's the sea the plane crashed into. You gotta be kidding me. I am just glad that Jane was not here to hear that. What? I Oh, uh, Kid Dean. Kid. Yeah, her, the son has a kid or something? No, Michael. Gotta be. Two years ago, Jane's son was involved in a scandalous gay love affair with prominent Philadelphia businessman William J. Gottaby. Jane's son wanted to take their affair public, but Gottaby didn't want to ruin his career. So one night in an especially heated gay lover's quarrel, Gottaby ended up strangling Jane's son. It was a terrible tragedy. Wait, you just told me he died in a plane crash. The gay strangling didn't kill him. But it weakened his neck muscles, which probably contributed to the sneaker beheading two years later. I'm leaving. Leaving? Jane's son was disfigured by a leaf shredder. Well, I... Jane's son fell down a well, so... Jane's son was nearly killed in a sewing contest gone awry. But I... What? Jane's son had colon cancer! However...
However what, Michael? Never mind. Never mind. Like the Nirvana album? Jane's son, an overzealous Kurt Cobain fan, blew off his own head with a shotgun! <laughs> oh, really? Uh, so tell me, was this before or after he also died in the Mediterranean plane crash? It's a different son, Michael. And for God's sakes, the woman had more than one child die a violent, unexpected death. 